So with Black Clover Mobile, in a couple of days time, we are going to be get again getting a character that is going to be buffing up a, a meta. And that meta is the counter-attacking meta. So the characters that I'm using right now are the lineup of the counter-attacking characters that we have that uh, are all meta, to be honest. And so having that additional character to come on in to provide that support, well, it's going to be hell. But at the same time, we're also getting a second character on hand that's going to be counteracting the counterattack. So it's going to be a counterattacking fiesta, basically. So obviously with William, it works off from his ultimate. Of course, he'll give it to the, I believe it's the highest attacking unit on your team that will get the counter uh uh, buff which of course in this case the world has it now it is only for one turn so I mean you, you, hopefully the enemies are quick enough to get their attacks in uh, but clearly in my case Noel's is going to come on in so that buff technically kind of you know goes away um, and then we've got Charlotte now Charlotte is way more consistent because of course she has it on her first skill she has it on her ultimate the consistency from counter attacking uh, really is more over from Charlotte compared to the other remaining two characters. So of course this was another way to kind of introduce and buff up the counter-attacking side of things. And then of course the third way of counter-attacking is from um, Noelle's uh, second skill. But again it's designated uh, targeting. So in this case if we give it over to uh, Noelle, not only does she get the barrier but she also gets the counter-attack that comes with it of course. So obviously with initial counters the way it works is that if the enemy has oh sorry if we have this specific buff we can essentially get the counter off the way it works is that if the enemy targets us we're still taking their damage but we're also returning the damage all right so it's like a trade-off essentially and that's the same with william and charlotte william is just doing it on a single target basis and it's only for one turn when it comes to giving the buff Charlotte is more on a consistent manner and being it on an AOE type of style. And then of course with Noelle, her, in my opinion, her counter attack is a little bit more tougher due to the fact that you've got a barrier play. So you've got the counter effect still being applied. However, you've got the protection of the barrier. Now, obviously all of these, there's a bit of a bypass. You know, you can resort to Oko in an enemy with Noelle's, um, oh well, I say Oko in removal. That's also an option. Obviously with Noel one, it's fairly simple. You just got to make sure that you clear out the barrier and then there goes her counter. So there's ways to kind of go past the counter attack. Now, obviously when we are going to be getting luck, which is going to be the newest character, which is going to be buffing up the counter attack buff itself by obviously making it available AOE and also making it so that it's available on the second skill, which we don't have on an AOE range. It's essentially going to be the same thing to how you can look at it with Charlotte's ultimate, where obviously everyone will get the buff. We'll be on there for probably one or two turns, and obviously you can combat that by maybe making sure that the enemy can't get buffed, removing the buff, or more importantly, just okoing the enemy, so that way you don't have to deal with getting counter-attacked. So we really don't have anything that can, how should I say, stop the attack and make it so that you don't take the damage and the fact that you can just redirect it back to the enemy. We don't have any type of counter attack like that. That's going a little bit more advanced, as I like to say, with the counter attacking buff. And I think, I genuinely think that come February, near the beginning of February, when we are going to be getting a brand new character, we could see a more advanced, a more evolved version being added for the counter-attacking meta. Now, what do I mean by that? Look, it's 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 fair to say that with the newest characters that we are going to be getting on Black Clover Mobile, it's exciting. All right, it's exciting. Now, as I forementioned, Luck in two days' time, he is going to be coming in and just providing that casual counter-attacking buff with his second skill, as I've mentioned. But there is a specific character which I think will provide that little bit more and is going to change up the counter-attacking meta slightly. And that is Zora himself. Now, we can only go off from on how the character is being in the show. And if you've seen the show, which I'm sure most of you guys have, if you look at some of the ways that his attacks have kind of gone through, it's by him taking in the magic and redirecting it back to the enemy. It's giving that counter-attack vibe. But the thing is, no harm is coming to, obviously, he himself or the mage that he is obviously protecting. He's able to take the attack, redirect it back to the enemy. 
that to me is a more advanced counter attack because you're counter attacking but not having to take the damage. So just to give you guys a rundown on what I'm thinking here on how Zoro can come into the game and kind of buff up the counter attacking meta is of course he himself on his skills being one or two, preferably two, apply the counter attack right for himself or maybe maybe he can um, play like a protection role where he can apply uh, his ash magic onto a specific ally to where if they get counter attacked he'll step in do his thing to make it so that no one takes any damage but the, di but, the but the attack is redirected back to that enemy but they can go one step further in my opinion to make it where on his ultimate maybe the counter attacking is so advanced that if the enemy chooses the ult then the ult itself gets redirected it's a little bit broken but with the way black clover is going it's possible Especially with obviously Mero Leona because she's coming across as a devastating Oko type of character. So it really is just coming across as uh, them just one, you know, one up in the game itself with these characters coming into the game just being broken after broken after broken. That's the vibe that I'm getting, especially with like Luck and Yami coming along. Amazing characters with amazing kits buffing up their metas. Mero Leona is going to come in along who's going to be Oko in enemies. Obviously they can't hide behind their barrier or their immortality. God knows what Destiny Vanessa is going to be capable of now that she's going to be unlocking her true potential. That's, so that's going to be something crazy to think about. So when it comes to them uh, specifically targeting the counter-attack meta with the upcoming season and then knowing how Zora uh, works within the show itself and that's kind of what we're going off from, um, he could very well be the character that gives us that advanced counter-attacking meta to where it's kind of similar to where you know the counter-attacking buff is still being applied. But rather than having to just take the full-on brute force, that there's no weakness to it, to where if the enemy does attack you, then it's just an instant redirect of the counter-attack back to the enemy itself. So, uh, if anything, if that is the case, then they'll probably do it to where it only applies for Zora, or maybe it's in a where it's kind of like Williams type of deal, where it's, it's, it's either given to Zora or it's designated to a random ally. I feel like that will be the best. They can't make that AoE, otherwise that'll be too broken. Because obviously with Black Clover, you have to do a turn. You have to attack, right? So to have a mechanic to where it kind of redirects. Unless you've got character. Well, I mean, you can... I mean, well, you can kind of set it up to where... you. I mean, well, no, because typically attacking units have to attack. So, yeah, if it is done on an AoE scale, then that'd be too broken. So I think single target might be the best way to yeah, battle. I just thought I'd quickly mention all of this due to the fact that obviously with the new season coming up, counter-attack meta is getting slightly touched up. And with obviously Zora, the way he's working, with how we've seen him being presented within the show, obviously they're going to keep the same theme running for the game itself. And so it just kind of, you know, came up to my mind to be like, hmm, could we get a more advanced version of um, the counter-attacking system to where there's no weaknesses, I want to say? Because if anything, I would say right now, Noel has the best counter-attacking system to it, where there's a barrier play happening. Um, so obviously the counter-attack is being popped off whilst obviously her taking the damage, but the damage isn't affecting her. Because of course she's got that big barrier play going on. So I was just wondering, maybe outside of the barrier play, could there be a buff in place to where Zora can just stop the attack initially coming to where he can redirect it. But if that is the case, then I do believe that would have to be on a single target. Uh, so either a random ally gets it or maybe they make it to where Zora can't be touched or maybe you can sp uh, um, pick the specific ally to actually get the buff. So it'll be one of the three, but that's just my take. Look, I'm excited for Zora. He is one of the... I, I did a video on it to say that he is one of the characters that I'm looking forward to. It was him, Kyoto, uh, Kahono. There were two other characters. I forgot who they were, but like, yeah, 100% Zora was also uh, was one of my biggest ones. So to him be in the game... And for him to potentially bring uh, and buff up a specific meta that is getting touched up now, um, it'll be interesting going forward, especially with like teams building and whatnot. So, yeah, Zora, come February, we could be getting something special with that man. Do you think that's going to be the case, or uh, are you, do, do you think that Black Clover will go a different route with it?